Hey, welcome back to another video. How's it going, you guys? I am Landon. This is where I talk about the news and other crazy things being talked about around the world. But first, before we get into today's stories, in my last video, I asked all of you, what is something that makes you mad? And this is what you all said down here. Today's comment question of the day is, what is your dream job? Well, for 18-year-old Madeline Stewart, this girl right here, from Brisbane, which is in the UK, she wants to become a supermodel. Madeline suffers from Down syndrome, which makes everything in life just a little bit harder for her, which means she has to over do and overcompensate for everything. But Madeline and her mom are on a mission to change the way people see beauty. I mean, take a look at this. Isn't she attractive? They are proving that people with Down syndrome can be sexy and beautiful and that they should be celebrated just as well. She has come a very, very long way and I just can't wait what the next chapter is going to be for her. Okay, a crazy moment when a Boeing 737 plane burst into flames just before passengers were boarding the plane. This happened after the oxygen cylinder exploded. This was scat air Airlines flight DV-742. Horrified passengers saw the whole thing unfold in the terminal by looking outside the window. They were probably saying, Holy crap, we were just about to board that plane. The blaze destroyed the jet before firefighters can get there and bring the flames under control. Scat Airlines are being accused of being one of the most dangerous airlines to fly with. So that's one airline to scratch off your list. Something else terrifying is this moment right here. This is ISIS teaching this thief to never steal again by cutting off his hand. The ISIS militants used a meat cleaver to slice it right off and they blindfolded him. They used bandages to wrap up the victim's bleeding wound. The terror group's code is based on eye for an eye punishment. So if you're caught stealing with your hands, you lose it. And during this moment, there was a lot of people watching in the crowd. Another story about ISIS is the group made a cage of death where they forced young boys to wrestle inside these giant steel rings. They are training these kids to become the new generation of killers. I mean, is this real life right now? ISIS militant groups is destroying and taking away childhood. I mean, where is their education? But I guess, according to the ISIS people, you don't need an education to really kill. I feel really bad for what's happening on that side of the world. And it's very scary that ISIS is slowly taking over the world. And moving on to Hannah, who was diagnosed with scoliosis, which is a rare medical condition in which a person's spinal axis has a three-dimensional deviation, meaning her spine is very curved. So at the age of nine years old, Hannah started wearing a brace for 23 hours a day to try to help the curve of her spine and also to hide it from other people. She didn't want her classmates to know that she was a little bit different because these days, a little bit different, uh, you're bullied, which is crazy. After a few years of her condition, it became worse. It became so worse to the point that she was forced to undergo surgery. Hannah has her spines fused with titanium rods. It was a very painful procedure that required almost two months of recovery. Just look how intense this rehabilitation is. She is laying down on the machine that holds her into place and has this thing around her chin. I think she was very brave to go through with the surgery and she ended up telling her classmates that she was going through with the surgery. When Hannah was fully healed, she celebrated with fireworks and she burned her brace. So this right here is 20 27 year old Marcio Gladi, but you guys can call him the human Kendall. After realizing that he wasn't beautiful at the age of 17 years old, he wanted to change his appearance. So this is when he got into plastic surgery and never looked back. He now resembles a Kendall, and because of this, he's getting media attention around the world. Okay, this next video is super adorable, and it has millions of views in such a short amount of time, and it's for a reason. It's a monkey teaching a human how to crush leaves. The monkey grabs leaves, and then puts the leaves in the man's hands and shows him how to crush isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen and the monkey does it like over and over again he's probably thinking god damn it human why can't you do this right the first Okay, moving on. Do you guys remember not too long ago I talked about Doomsday, an asteroid that was going to come hit Earth and destroy it? It had a lot of you guys scared, and I apologized for it, but NASA are, well, they're a little bit more concerned than we thought about the asteroid. And that's because it's on a direct path to Earth. 
it's big, it's moving, and it's moving fast. And this is when NASA teamed up with National Nuclear Security Administration to use nuclear weapons to blow up the asteroid. But because of the large size of the asteroid, they don't think it's gonna be possible. And experts say that blowing it up will cause lots of rock fragments, and this might actually make the situation worse. I'll keep you guys informed and updated with what's happening with this asteroid. Not to scare you guys, but there's like hundreds, thousands of asteroids that's on path to hit Earth, but they never do. Some sad news over in the UK, where Britain's fattest man just passed away. This right here is 33 year old Carl Thompson, for you guys who don't know. He died in his home in Dover just weeks after pleading for help. He ballooned his way all the way up to 65 stones, which is about 910 pounds. Doctors have warned them in the past that if he doesn't get his weight under control, he will lose his life. Emergency services needed several hours to remove Carl Thompson from his home. After he passed away, they had to use a small crane, shut down the streets around him as well. So they used a small crane to get him out of an upstairs balcony. Carl has been fighting obesity his whole life. It's really sad to see him go at such a young age. It was so bad that Thompson has gained about 35 stones, which is about 500 pounds in the last three years alone. And he did this by consuming over 10,000 calories daily. This is a whole lot of money and a whole lot of eating. My condolences goes out to him. And for any of you guys watching right now, make sure you guys stay as healthy as possible and watch what you guys eat. Okay, this last story is about 42-year-old Carl McHoyd, who is totally obsessed with Miley Cyrus. He is so obsessed that he's gotten tattoos of her all over his body. He has spent thousands of dollars. He has a total of 29 tattoos. Well, guess what? Miley Cyrus saw the pictures of him, of this guy, and she blocked him on Twitter. She said it was very creepy. So now Carl has vowed to get all of his tattoos removed because there's no point in having them now because his idol Miley Cyrus, who he obsesses about, doesn't approve of them. So he has told the media that he has much regrets about getting them, and he just cannot wait to get them removed. Well, there you guys have it. That's all your news stories for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. So let me know what you guys think of this video. My voice is a little bit dry. Tell me if you guys noticed that. Have an awesome Wednesday. It is such a nice day here in Canada. I don't know where you guys are from. Is it a nice day? You guys should go outside and have some fun. And I'll see you guys all back here where we do this all over again tomorrow, which is Thursday. Okay.